Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the methods of knowing given by CS Pires. Now these methods answer this question, how do you know something is true? So basically there are three non-scientific methods and one scientific method. The first non-scientific method is the method of tenacity where people believe something to be true because it has always been true. For example, a shop owner says that I don't believe in advertising because my parents did not believe in it. So he has linked to the people in his life. So there is one reference point where he links the present facts to the people in his life as well as people in the past. The basic idea of the method of tenacity is that nothing changes. Whatever is good, bad or successful in the past will continue to happen in the future. So this is the method of tenacity. Now we'll talk about the method of intuition or the priori approach. Now in the examination they have also asked the synonym of uh, the method of intuition. So remember priori approach means the method of intuition. Now what is method of intuition? Uh, a person assumes something to be true because uh, it is self-evident or stands to reason. Now these two words self-evident and stands to reason are linked to the method of intuition. Now for tenacity remember this thing uh, that uh, something is true because it has always been true. So T tenacity is equals to two T's. So remember like that something is true because it has always been true is the method of tenacity. Now intuition talks about uh, basically a person assumes something to be true because it is self-evident or stands to reason. For example, the creative people in advertising may not test their advertising methods because they know that uh, their methods will attract customers. Now uh, they have to do a pilot test before uh, sending their ads to the consumers. Basically you have to test the advertising methods. So in this method they believe that we already know that what is uh, going to attract the customers. Now there is no uh, logical way for, for them to come to this understanding. This is a subconscious decision which they have already taken that we know it. It is something like gut feeling that uh, uh, through your gut feeling you can say that okay this method is going to work. So this is the method of intuition. The next method is the method of authority. Basically you believe something to be true because an authoritative figure has said to you. For example, uh, uh, a teacher might have said something to you which you may think it is true, a parent or even a well-known journalist might have uh, told you something and you think that that is the truth. So this is the method of uh, authority. The last and the most important method, the scientific method approaches learning in a series of small steps where one study or a source may point out only the indication of the truth. Now the truth is found out through a series of objective analysis. Now how does it work? For example, uh, I find out that variable A has an effect on variable B on certain conditions. Now this study which I have done has to be replicated in by the entire scientific community and if this fact stands out in the scientific community that uh, a variable A has an effect on variable B, my study is factual or truthful. So if my study is proved false then it's okay because science works on the principle of self-correction. Uh, it is okay that our theory and thoughts are being challenged by the other researchers or other scholars because science itself works on the principle of self-correction. For example, take the uh, powerful effects theory where, which says that media had a powerful effect on the audience. Basically this was challenged by Paul Lazarsfeld with, by his limited effects theory where he said that uh, it is not just media which is uh, uh, affecting the audiences, there are various other factors in the society which also affect the audiences and media does not have a powerful effect which was thought by the powerful effects theory. So this is how the principle of science works. So these are the four methods of knowing. There will be direct questions mostly in your paper 1 and paper 2. And apart from that as I told you priori approach once it has come as a uh, direct question. So guys all the best and uh, keep working hard. Thank you.